Level up your listening with Bose Quiet Comfort Ultra Earbuds and Headphones with immersive sound and world class noise cancellation for a not so silent night. Visit Bose.com slash Spotify to shop sound that's more than a present. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T Mars Ball Show. And in today's episode, I will be talking on what makes a music artist a legend. Now, I've seen this post on Facebook overall talking on how Lauren Hill, if you guys don't know who Lauren Hill, um, Lauren Hill is, I would recommend looking up her music because she has released good music. She was also part of a band. Um, the Fugees, I think that was the name. I don't know, bro. I'm like, I don't pay attention to Lauren Hill like that. So I know people are going to probably be like, bro, how do you not know what the band's name is? Because I don't pay attention to every artist. I pay attention to artists that I listen to on the regular. I don't listen to her on the regular. So I don't want to hear nobody talking about how do you not know? How do you No, I don't care for it. Okay. So, but anyways, um, there's no disrespect to her and her music or anything that she's been a part of. I'm just like. I don't listen to every artist like that. So, but anyways, so there is a post um, talking on her saying how her album, I guess she released an album that was legendary, but her herself is not a legendary artist. So that leaves me to ask that person and many people, what makes an artist a legendary artist? Because I see it as this, if you released one good album or one good song, you're a legend in my eyes. Now, you might not have, like, the best, uh, you know, I think, like, when you just overall just start deteriorating as an artist and more so just racking up all these crazy things that's, like, surrounding you and you're in the media's eye for, like, the wrong reasons, then I feel like then that's when you lose your uh, legendary status. But other than that, there are artists out there that, yes, they have released uh, um, legendary songs and legendary al um, albums. They're not necessarily consider um, considered a legend, but then there's artists that have done that and they are considered a legend. So I'm like, there could be another artist where they could have had the same career as um, Lauryn Hill and then people would consider them a legend. My thing is, is that there is most likely 100, 1,000, most likely might even be a million people where they have been inspired by Lauryn Hill's music to follow their dreams, follow their paths, whether it's music or something else. Because it's like, you have to see this, this. Like, this girl, I don't even know how much money, but she came from an era where making a name for yourself in the music industry, extremely difficult back then, extremely, extremely difficult. The fact that she was able to do it back then, and it wasn't like how it is now, where it's like, bro, you're, you can post a song on TikTok. If that song gets over like a million likes, you're set. You, you are set. You got a gold or platinum selling song on there. So my thing is like, yeah, there's all these like social media platforms. There's all these like, you know, different places to go to to listen to music. And for her to, you know, come from an era where like CDs and freaking what else was coming out back then? Um, uh, freaking the tape thingies. I don't know what they called them, but like, but overall, like she came from an era of music where it was extremely difficult to get your music like plays and stuff, but it was still like, you know, it was still doing its thing. It's not like how easy as it is now where, you know, if an artist comes out with a music video, people can very well go and uh, watch it like on YouTube today or any other music um, video website. But back then it was like, you had to wait until that stuff came out on TV. You know, like you had to, what was it? What was it, VH1 So I think that's what it uh, used to be called or something like that. But yeah, it's like you wanted to listen to some Lauryn Hill. You had to wait until VH1 So played her music. But other than that, it was like, you know, she still made a name for herself. So that's why I'm like, bruh, this girl that made a name for herself uh, and a name that people are going to remember. I'm saying I'm not like the biggest Lauryn Hill fan, but I remember her name. I know who she is. I just don't listen to her music, but I'm like, when you have people that don't listen to your music, know who you are, you're a legend. Now, if there's people, I feel like then that's when you're considered a legend. But when you release a song and then people don't know your face, don't know who you are, like for an example, the one artist that did the Whip Nene song, 
And the reason why I'm talking on him, because that song was a pretty popular song. I think that song got like a billion uh, views on YouTube or something like that. So he released that song and blown like blew up off of it was like you know song got like a everywhere everybody was playing it everybody was doing the dance and all that stuff and it was pretty much like a dancing song like he was just having like he just turned his lyrics into like all the past dances in like the past like five to ten years so but anyways people don't probably know his name people don't probably remember his face not up until now when um he had like you know got into all that uh crap that he got into they, they say he uh, well, I think the last thing that they, they say he just recently did was kill his cousin, and then uh, um, he went into he went into these random people's house um, with a hatchet trying to find his ex girlfriend. Had some photos leaked out of him. Like that man was dealing with some stuff. But I'm pretty sure before that, people probably didn't know who he was. Didn't know unless you like listen to his song on the regular or you paid attention to that type of stuff. But other than that, if somebody were to hold up like three photos of like whoever right talking about who released this song was it this guy this guy or this guy i probably would have pointed at a photo and they've been like bro that's a blurred or they were like when well, maybe not okay maybe not like a blurred image but they have been like bro that's an image of michael jackson when he was like 14 years old like how do you i'm like oh well i just i don't know i thought that's who did it what am i right like was it michael jackson i don't know who released that song so but anyways but there's other artists and other um songs and albums out there where they have re it was good but nobody don't really pay attention to the artist but and i have to say probably another example is um the music artist uh soldier boy now soldier boy he's known for many reasons okay but we all know him for releasing his us uh, um his og album right we all know him for that reason so is he a legendary artist? You know, because he what? He released like he released that first um good album, then he released some like songs here and there that was good. But other than that, is he considered a legendary artist because of like his one album and few songs that he released? Yes, he's a legendary artist. Why? Because he made a name for himself and he still continued on that name. That's what I'm overall saying with Lauren Hill. She made a name for herself and she still continued that name. That's why people are still buying tickets to you know because my thing is like regardless of how you view a musician or their music they still made a name for themselves they turned a name from like that was literally at ground zero turned it into a skyscraper now it might not be an important skyscraper to you but to others yes people see that that's my all-time favorite building i love this building i love this skyscraper so you might not view her as a legendary artist you might not view the guy Silent Toe that did the Whip Nay Nay song, you might not view him as a legendary artist. You might not view Soulja Boy as a legendary artist, but others will, and others always will, because they released a song that they were listening to on a regular basis. So I feel like that somebody that is overall hating, or they're just like not a fan at all. Like when you say some stuff like that, that is your opinion. That is your opinion. But I feel like if you are actually paying attention to the musical facts of a artist then it's like you will see that oh yeah this girl she's a legend because how many streams is she getting on spotify hold on for a second lauren hill lauren hill radio they got like a radio thing of her i feel like i'm misspelling her name hold on for a second oh Miss Lauren Hill. Oh, you. Oh, so I was um, misspelling her name, but it's Miss Miss Lauren Hill. Okay. Yeah, she's still. She gets six million monthly listeners. I'm saying there's artists today that can't even break that. Like you, and then she. Uh, um, she has like some. Um, one of her or the killing me softly with his song 330 uh, million streams. It wasn't like Spotify came out years ago when she was um doing her thing spotify came out maybe what uh like a decade ago a little over a decade ago maybe a little bit longer than that i don't know exactly let me see when spotify was created spotify release date spotify was really okay so yeah oh, a, a decade ago literally july 2011 so 
in that, like, in the 10 years her music has been, and I don't even know when exactly her music got added to Spotify. It probably took a little bit longer for her music to get added to Spotify because nobody didn't really know what it was. So probably less than 10 years, she managed to accumulate millions of, that's just what one song, one only, it was only one song that had 330 uh, million uh, plays, but uh, her other song, uh, Doo-Wop, 223 um, million, uh, Ready or Not, 184 million, X Factor, 106 million, and uh, uh, Can't Take My Eyes Off of You, 41 million, and she's released... So she's released three albums. It was like an MTV unplug. Okay, well then that's why if people are all like she's not a legendary artist, she released an art or she released uh, an album in '96 and '98, and then she released an album in 2002. And the last time she released, I'm like the girl was set. Like she was making bank off of that, and she was smart about her money. So if she's not considered a legendary artist then i would have to consider her a smart person because she used her money wisely you know she wasn't like there's artists out there that was probably buying crap tons of that came up from the same time she did making the same amount of money that she was making but they overall was like oh no nah, i'm gonna use my money to buy about 10 cars uh two three houses i'm about to be traveling left and right all over the place get me to chains get me uh watches and rings and all these other things get me of all the latest jordans and stuff and now they're broke but lauren hill she was smart i'm saying this girl she's all like on oh, god release and then them artists that came up from the same time she did they're probably still releasing music still till this day or got like their hands dipped into the music industry so yeah, I'm like, I don't, I personally don't think uh, she would be considered, like, not a legendary. I personally think she is considered a legendary artist, but that's just my opinion. But I also think it's a fact. I'm like, for her to release an album all those years ago, and it still gets talked about till this day, and she hasn't really, I feel like if she were to release another album um, anytime soon, I mean, I don't think she's in the talks of it, but... Let's just see if she is. Most likely not. But anyways. Uh, how do I spell her name again? Lauren. Nope. Lauren Hill. Uh, new album. Look, it's like, and they still um, talking on stuff. Oh, there is like in talks of it in 2019. Yeah, she has, it was like, this girl, she released an album in 98, and I was all like, she don't even need to release any more music. Did she retire from music? Well, I mean, she did make some songs in 2019, but, uh, yeah, years active, 1990. Yeah, 1998, and then she made a name for herself, blown up, like, years later, and then still has, like, that same, like, people still talk about her music today, and then, obviously, people are still listening to it. She's getting six uh, million monthly listeners. But let's see if she has any, uh, well, there's like impact. Many artists have been inspired by, it. oh, so let's just, so let's just talk on all of the different artists that have been inspired by Lauren Hill. So on Wikipedia, they said many artists have, ins um, have been inspired by Lauren Hill, including Adele, Beyonce, Christina Aguilera, Kanye West, Jay-Z, Kendrick Lamar, Amy, Win Amy Winehouse, Janelle Monet, Rihanna, Childish Gambino, Erica Badu, Lizzo, Drake, Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, Her, Sam Smith, Norman E, Tiana Taylor, Solange, Solange knows Beyonce's sister, uh, Maggie Rogers, Pharrell Williams, Tori Kellings, Mabel, Jess Glenn, I think Glennie or something, I think, uh, Claro, Jenny of Blackpink, CL of um 2 e one RM of BTS. Uh, Kobe uh, Kellett, something like that. Natasha Bedingfield, uh, freaking that one girl with her name. It's like S uh, Z A, like SZA or something like that. I don't freaking know how to pronounce that girl's name. Saint Saint Vincent, Ella May, Missy Elliott, Nas, Kelly Clarkson, Little Kim, Madison Beer, Foxy Brown, Rhapsody, uh, Alicia Keys, Kalani, uh, Georgia Smith. Ariana Grande, Chloe and Halle, Bastille, Andra, Andra Day, The Weeknd, Chance the Rapper, Rosalia Lecrae, Leanne Lee Havis, Ryan Destiny, Freddie Gibbs, 
Snon, Snor, I don't freaking know how to pronounce that name, but another person, Pink and uh, BB Rexa. All of those people, you mean to tell me that she's not considered a legendary artist and she inspired all of those people to make music? Nah. I, uh, nah. Because I'm like, my thing is, you gotta sit down and think about it. If she wasn't here, do you think, I'm not saying that those artists would have not lived out their dreams as a music, um, like a musical artist and things, but do you think that some of the songs that they create, because I'm pretty sure they most likely have made a song inspired, um, or using like Lauren Hill's flow or overall just like, you know, samples or any of that, especially even samples, bro. Like I'm pretty sure there's so many people that have sampled her music, so I'm like, when you go from people sampling your music to all of those inspirations to all of that stuff, and then of course you still got the same fans that you had from back in the nineties, I I I don't know. I'ma have to I'ma have to you know call doubt on that uh, statement by whoever created that uh, photo. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm like you don't make it a name for yourself. Or uh, you don't be like, or it, more so it's like people just saying you're not a legendary artist, but you got all of that underneath your belt. I'm sorry, but no, nah, that's, I'm gonna have to say no to that. I'm like, that girl's a legendary artist, whether you like it or not. So, but anyways, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you're viewing this on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're viewing this on a podcast streaming service, make sure you follow or subscribe, however it's set up. Subscribe to all 28 of my YouTube channels. I got a crap ton of them um pick and choose which ones you want to subscribe to uh follow me on twitch i'm thinking i might go live i'm, I'm gonna probably go live here in a second but yeah follow me on twitch probably by the time you guys hear this episode i'm gonna be starting up another stream or something but yeah follow me on twitch uh what else follow me on social media twitter and instagram at tmos boss same with twitch too just search up tmos boss and you'll find me but uh yeah that being said i will talk to you guys later thank you guys for watching and or listening and peace Thank you.